And for more, let's bring in doctors Terrence Ferguson and Bernard Hodges, veterinarians and co-stars on National Geographic's Critter Fixers. Doctors, thank you both for being on. I know a lot of pet owners are really concerned right now. So, Dr. Ferguson, let's start with you. What do we know about this illness, and how concerned do you think dog owners need to be right now? Well, definitely right now it's a mystery. You know, um, going through this season, we often have a lot of respiratory disease that we have in dogs, but, you know, having one that we're not quite sure about kind of, you know, changes things. We have to try to figure out how do we treat these things, how severe they are, or, you know, how they're spreading. Dr. Hodges, uh, this illness can be deadly if left untreated. So what symptoms specifically do dog owners need to keep an eye out for? And what do you do if you start noticing them? So we definitely want to kind of look out for any kind of, you know, excessive coughing, eye discharge, any, you know, if we start to have a fever, difficulty breathing, any, any nasal discharge or lethargy. And if you start seeing these things, definitely get your animal to a veterinarian because you know, this is a mystery disease and it could, uh, you know, become fatal. Dr. Ferguson, what do we know about how this disease is spreading? Should dog owners be avoiding kennels and dog parks right now? Well, you know, at this point, we're not quite sure because it's still one of those mystery diseases. But if we look back on other illnesses that we have, like some of the influenza viruses that we have, we definitely know they're spread by, you know, direct contact or sneezing. So if it's in an area where you're having an outbreak, I would definitely say probably avoid those um, having your dog in a kennel or going to the groomer, those are some of the things you may want to not do right now until we kind of figure this out and uh, get a little bit better control on it. And, and Dr. Hodges, what are some small everyday things you think pet owners can do to keep our pets healthy? So one of the things definitely, you know, vaccination is the key. You know, border teller, which causes kennel cough, as well as flu. Flu is a relatively new one. It kind of threw veterinarians for a loop a few years ago. And then it, just like our viruses, it mutated. So we got a second strand of the flu. So definitely vaccinate your, your pets. Make sure that, you know, when you take them out, that they're, in, you know, they're going around areas that they're on a whole lot of pet population that are sneezing and coughing. You know, and just, just like with us, make sure that you proper, you make sure that you have regular veterinary checks and they're well vaccinated. All right, Drs. Terrence Ferguson, Bernard Hodges, thank you both. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.